where the pulse goes from the SA node. It directly depolarizes the atria, number one, and number two, it travels to AV node. So what happens in atria that it depolarizes and it produces a P wave. So P wave is the atrial depolarization. P wave is dome shaped with an upstroke and a downstroke. P wave duration is 0 0.1 to 0 0.12 seconds and the amplitude is 2 millimeters. So where is the right atrial depolarization and where is the left atrial depolarization? Upstroke is the right atrial depolarization and the downstroke is the left atrial depolarization. In which leads P wave is positive. P wave is positive in lead long lead 2 and AVF and is negative in AVR. So what may happen to the P wave? P wave may be normal, absent, tall, notched, biphasic, fibrillary or sorted. When do we have an absent P wave? Sinus pass, thoracic sinus syndrome, SA node block type 2, second degree SA node block, exit block, P wave absent, nodal or junctional rhythm, P wave may be absent here. Second degree heart block, Mobitz type 1, Wernke backs may have, not always, it may have a absent P wave. Atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. There are fibrillary waves. The rates are irregular in both of them. And what are the most important complications of atrial fibrillation? They are number one, thromboembolism, and number two, ventricular tachycardia. Because the rate is too high, all the impulses, they don't pass through the AV node to the ventricle, so the rate is irregular. But there is ventricular tachycardia, so the two most important things to control is the prevention of formation of the embolism and number two, controlling the ventricular rate. Idioventricular rhythm, bizarre curious complexes. P wave is buried but cannot be seen. What's idioventricular rhythm? When both SA node and AV node are knocked down for any reason, ventricles beats itself of its own and the rate is 20 to 40 beats per minute normally in idioventricular rhythm. PVCs, premature ventricular contraction, there is no preceding P wave. Whenever there is a premature ventricular contraction, there is no P wave before that. VTAC, bizarre curious complexes, P wave cannot be seen, is buried. You see that VTAC and then v ventricular fibrillation. This is a querying bag of worms, very dangerous and fatal condition. So you can't see a P wave in here. So when can have we a P wave with increased amplitude? P wave, if it is more than 2.5 millimeters in lead 2 or the limb lead or more than one small box in lead 1 it's right atrial enlargement or p pulmonale it may also be enlarged it have a high amplitude in hypokalemia so what happens in p pulmonale that because of any chronic disease of the lungs copd we're discussing here is the chest diseases and the cardiac disorders that cause increased amplitude of the p wave Chest condition, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, core pulmonary, because increased amplitude of the wave. Or asynotic congenital heart diseases, AST, VST, PDA, when the shunt reverses and when it produces pulmonary hypertension, it produces right atrial hypertrophy and amplitude of the P wave is increased. So this is the right atrial enlargement. P wave with decreased amplitude, when do we have it? hyperkalemia may cause decreased amplitude P wave. What do we see in left atrial hypertrophy? There is a biphasic P wave in lead V1 and notched in limb lead. This is known as P mid. When does this condition occur? It occurs in left atrial hypertrophy, it occurs in metral stenosis, where the back pressure from left ventricle to the left atrium. P mid trail, biphasic and notched P wave.